There is no information about his life in the sources. It is rumored that he entered the Ottoman palace in 850, 1446, and that he was of Albanian, Serbian, or French origin. Since her name is mentioned as Gulbahar bint Abdullah in a document dated June 1468, it is understood that she was brought to the palace as a prisoner or concubine. It is not clear exactly when she was introduced to Prince Mehmed, Fatih Sultan Mehmed, and when she became his wife. Based on the fact that she gave birth to her son Bayezid in Dimetoka in 1448, this marriage was a result of her father Mehmed II's first ascension to the throne, 1444, and his father II, who came back to the throne after his death, 1446. It can be said that it took place after Murad II was summoned from Manisa to go on an expedition against Skanderbeg. As a matter of fact, Prince Mehmed joined the expedition against Skender Bay with his father in 1448-1450 and Dili II. He participated in the Kosovo War and then the Albanian Campaign. During this period, Gulbahar Hatun, who was understood to have been in Dimitoka, where the Ottoman Sultan stayed from time to time, was asked whether Prince Mehmed went to Manisa with them after his magnificent wedding with Dulka Durolu Suleiman Bey's daughter Siti Hatun in Edirne in the winter of 1450, and also whether Mehmed there is no information about his situation after he became Sultan in 1451 and the conquest of Istanbul in 1453. However, it is highly probable that he was in Edirne with his son Bayezid during this period. It is known that he went with his son when he was seven years old and was sent to Amasha as a Sanjak lord in 1455 or 1456. Gulbahar Hatun, who is understood to have been present in Edirne in 1457 for Bayezid's circumcision ceremony, lived in Amasya until her son ascended to the throne in 1481. As a matter of fact, during this period, he, during the Trabzon campaign, 1461, Mehmed gave him a village in Amasya as property, B.A. Ali Amiri Tai Mehmed Nom. 2830. It is known that there are some foundations belonging to Gulbahar Hatun in Tokat and Amasya. According to a ruling dated November 1479, Tai, Mehmed stated that most of the properties in this region were under his possession without being in accordance with the law and that these should be distributed as Timars, and asked him to issue a Chebalu against the property share, Bay. Ali Emiri Tui Mehmed, number 24. This situation, Tui, it shows his attitude towards his son, Bayezid, and Gulbahar Hatun in Amasya, the meeting center of the group opposing Mehmed. 2. Gulbahar Hatun, who came to Istanbul after Bayezid's accession to the throne, gradually increased in her influence and influence as the mother sultan. He even interfered in state affairs. In the two extant letters he wrote to his son, it is seen that he had a great influence on him and made evaluations about the situation of some statesmen. Uluchai, Letters from Harem, Pipidas 18-20. 2. It is understood that Bayezid also valued his mother's words. In one of these letters, he wrote to his son, against Hersek Zade Ahmed Pasha, that dasant. Bayezid's Tulip Ayas Pasha and Huzir Beyolu Mehmed Pasha make recommendations in favor of him. Gulbahar Hatun passed away after living as a powerful figure in the palace for about 11 years. The tomb named after him is located in the courtyard of Fatih Mosque, opposite the tomb of Fatih. The tomb, which was damaged in the earthquake of 1766, was rebuilt in 1767-1768. Gulbahar Hatun's tomb. Apart from Bayezid, it is known that she was also the mother of Geverhan Sultan, who became the bride of the Akoyunlular family. It is not clear whether the Gulbahar Hatun Mosque, whose inscription dated 1451, has survived to this day, and which gave its name to a neighborhood in Idirne belongs to her.